Today marks one year in office for Mayor Reginald Green, so far a tumultuous tenor which has seen numerous ups and downs. Let's take a look back. Environmental activist Reginald Green has announced his mayoral campaign today, a highly anticipated move which has been speculated for months. His announcement begs the questions, is our city ready for its first cactus mayor? And is a cactus mayor even legally permissible? All right, all right, settle down, settle down. After weeks of careful consideration, the Municipal Board of Elections has decided that because there is no rule stating that a cactus cannot be mayor, Reginald Green's name will be placed on the ballot this November. Thank you, we will not be taking any questions. Yo, Mr. Green, so nice to meet you. Ah, shit. Sir, please refrain from touching the mayor. Yo, Instagram Live, I'm with Mayor Green right now. Mr. Green, kiss my baby. Oh my god. Yeah, vote Green, vote Green. How can Green be trusted to advocate for the people of our city? He's a plant for God's sake. Although they may lie in bigotry, I understand the council member's concerns. Council member Johnson is right. I am a plant, and our city has never seen a plant as its mayor before, but look at the dismal state of our city right now. Can we really say that our past human mayors have advocated for you? I'm a plant that promises to change that. I'll be an advocate for all, plant and human. Reginald Green has won in a landslide victory against council member Johnson. We now go live to his victory speech. Today is a historic day for not just our city, but also for America. I grew up a poor kid in the desert. It was rough out there. My best friend, Tumbleweed Tommy, tumbled off the edge of a cliff when I was 10. But I persevered. I worked hard and I got out. To all my seeds and saplings out there, don't let anyone tell you you're just a plant. We're six months into the Green administration and it's safe to say America's first cactus mayor has been a success. Green's tenure has seen record high approval ratings, the appointments of the most ecologically diverse cabinet in city history, and crime has ended. Not even a littering fine. Green's success has fueled speculation of aspirations for a higher office. Could America be looking at its first cactus president? Today marks two months of no rain in the state of Pennsylvania. Mayor Reginald Green's response to the drought has been criticized and met with widespread anger from his constituents, with many calling it tone deaf. Mayor Green, Mayor Green, do you have anything to say to the El Papa community whose community is being completely wiped out by the drought? The mayor expresses his deepest condolences to the Alfalfa community and all water-dependent communities. He has no further comment at this time. Do you have anything to say about your previous statements of you down the mayor has no further comment at this time. Thank you. After days of discussing and meeting with community leaders from various groups, including alfalfa, rice, and soybean, the United Plant Alliance has decided to suspend all political donations to Reginald Green due to his recent comments regarding the drought. This announcement is a major political hit to Green, as the Plant Alliance was responsible for nearly 70% of Green's campaign donations. A frightening scene at City Hall today as an attempt was taken on the mayor's life. This is for alfalfa! No, 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 no! The mayor is currently in stable condition, but will spend multiple weeks in recovery at the greenhouse. We now go live to acting Mayor Purrington's first press conference.